Now we're talking. Sweet. Cool. All right, we're getting people rolling yeah. in right now. So guys, to, to introduce ourselves, this is uh, Mark, the creative director of Loadout. Well, of Avenger Reality. Of Loadout. Wait, well, yeah, of Loadout. I mean, he didn't need a lot of directing. The team really basically made a kick-ass game. I mean, without uh, you, we wouldn't be lost. And this is Ty Root with some made-up title. That's right. What are you? Whatever. All right. Brand He's manager. a dude that makes things happen. Yeah. So the way this is going to work, guys, is uh, I need you to tweet any questions you have because we're not really going to monitor the chat room very much. So tweet at loadout um, any question you have. Try to use the hashtag weapons so I can filter through it. Um, you can ask uh, Mark mainly all the questions because I'm not really going to be able to answer any. That's fine. I'll answer whatever I'm I can. dumb. And if I don't know the answer, I'll make something up. Good. So we can, awesome. Control fun. point. Yeah. So uh, we hope you enjoy uh, the next hour of uh, loadout. We're really stoked for everyone to see it. And uh, we'll get started. Kindle, go for it. He's been working hard to start to yeah. show this off here. All right, Kindle. I, I don't know what kind of weapon you're running around here with. You obviously got a four-on-four -four match going on. Are you in progress? And you've got a you've got a shotgun, obviously. You going sniper shotgun? You going way back with your with your old standby? Is that what I can count on? All right. Yeah. I see a variety of weapons. Kindle is our uh, our QA slash community manager slash badass at this game. So definitely what you'll see here as you're watching the game, we're following Kindle around, but you'll see a lot of other weapons being used by a lot of other guys. And they, of course, invented all the pieces. All these weapons were made out of the pieces of the game. So I'll get familiar here with what weapons Kindle are using. If he sticks yeah. with a consistent loadout, I'll be able to... Okay, so we got a guided missile, obviously. Well, let's quickly tell people what game mode this is real quick. All right, this looks like we're doing... This is this is the Blitz. This is... um. CPR. Okay, so new yeah. CPR. So this is it's basically it's a domination type game. It is get as many bodies, live bodies, up in near the flag at any given time, and then you will slowly take the point. So up there at the top, you see the bar will tell you the status of it. Right now the red team has got more kind of time in towards the flag, and they're currently the, the, the HUD markers tell me they're currently got some people in there, which Kendall has completely cleared out. So he's now there, he's the only guy near the flag, and he's going to start capturing. You see the, the marker up at the top, it's telling you who's making progress. And now that he's dead, red is on it. So when one team or the other fills up that bar in one direction, then they're going to switch on over and it'll find another flag point. And then the, everybody's got to find that flag point on the map and they'll fight over that space. So it looks like red's going to get the cap and they're up 1,000 to zero. Basically two to one. It's 500 points per. So, Mark, what is the, uh, let's give them the general consensus of what loadout is as a game. Just yeah, so absolutely. Get the so, kind of backstory behind it. So you'll see visually here, this it's 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 gonzo. Like, we, we've heard in one review, somebody described it as, um, it's basically an FPS. It, it looks like, what was it? It was Looney Tunes as if it was directed by Quentin, Quentin Tarantino, Tarantino. Which exactly. is a great description of the style of this thing. Um, it's it's cartoony, but it's super hyper violent. Uh, if you look at the stuff, actually, it's 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 got a realistic sort of um, sort of shapes to everything. Even though we're shading it kind of with a different shader, we've got our own look to it. Um, the gameplay itself is centered. So you get a bunch of pieces, you put together pieces, you make a weapon. Uh, you can make a bunch of different weapons you can then switch between inside of the game. You can make your own loadout of whatever two weapons you want to bring in in any given game, depending upon what you think the role is going to be and what kind of game it is. So it, you're making your own weapons, and in a sense, you're rolling your own class. So let's say, let's say for example, I like being a support class because my in, you know, up close elite shooting skills are not in the top of you know my game here. So as a support class, a lot of times I'm thinking. What, what do I want to do? Who do I want to help out? Like, if Kendall's on my team, I'm thinking, how can I make it so that he's got, you know, a little bit better chance to have more time fighting? Or how can I soften up the enemy in order to get him so that he's in there kicking ass? Uh, so what I might make, for example, is I might make a weapon where I'm being able to do a guided missile and maybe catch people on fire, which probably won't kill them, but I'm hitting a large area with, with a little bit of damage. I know if Kendall gets into one-on-one -on -one battle with somebody and the other guy's at 80% health, Kendall's going to sweep him up. Uh, and then the other thing I might go for, of course, is healing. Uh, we've got overheal in the game. And again, depending upon the game type and what my team's like, I might make any kind of different healing gun. I could make one up close, like a shotgun. I could make an assault healing gun. I could make one that's long range. Um, this actually uh, leads me to a, um, a good question that um, 
one of the Twitter followers uh, asked, uh, U4I Triple X has asked, could you run us through the weapon customization? Um, we're not going to be showing a lot of that in this particular stream, but Mark will be happy I to can certainly talk describe talk it. about yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. So I, let's see if, if Kendall's... Okay, so Kendall's currently got a healing gun of some kind. And... Are you switch, have you switched to your secondary weapon or are you using healing pretty much throughout right now, Kendall? Um, I switched to sniper healing. Hypocrite's so, Oath. Okay, so, okay, so sniper weapons. healing gun. Yeah. So let's take that gun as an example. Uh, there's a basic chassis to it, and in this case it is a bullet rifle. So then at that point, bullet rifle has got a whole bunch of different pieces that then all together define what that thing is going to do. In the case of a sniper rifle healing gun, I imagine that you've got a sniper scope, You've got a healing uh, payload, and then there's a whole bunch of other options then you can make to determine how exactly it's going to work. So, you know, when you shoot that thing out, is it going to be kind of semi-automatic fire? Is it going to be one-shot fire? Is it going to be something else, charged, charged shot? There's a lot of options you have in terms of the trigger, in terms of the, um, the number of shots you get before you have to reload, how much uh, kickback you've got every time you fire. So depending upon all the pieces Kendall's put together to make a particular sniper healing rifle, uh, it will work differently, and then also he can go in there and tune a lot of stuff to make it exactly the way he likes it. Yeah, and in this match, in, in, in this game mode, having a healing rifle or somebody on your team that actually is uh, supporting you with healing is really beneficial to the gameplay because as you try to capture points, you can heal your teammates as they're waiting for that point to capture. So without a healer, this mode's very difficult. And if you have a healer on your team, this just sole purpose is dedicated to healing your other teammates, then you have a lot more chances for success. And just, just to carry the kind of weapon crafting discussion and answer the question even more, if I were playing this game mode, I would be looking at making two different types of weapons. And the two weapons I carry would leave me vulnerable to in close combat, but I, I would be looking to have like a KD of like 0.5, but having my team win. That, that yeah. would be kind of my strategy going in. Yeah. And what I would load up is I would make one weapon that is just there to pour hate onto the, the capture point. So I would do a charge trigger with a multi-launcher rocket launcher that carries a, a fire payload and blows into cluster on manual detonation. I would put it on manual detonation because I'm going to be the one guiding it with the guided, uh, with the guided sight. So what I would be able to do with that is I'd be able to sit across the level, dump fire onto the capture <laughs> point, um, and burn everybody up. And the second thing I would get is I would get a healing uh, payload something probably in a medium range so that when we run up to the capture point I can be support in the back and healing guys as they're trying to hold the point. Yeah. And with that weapon I would probably go with a like a pulse rifle and put it on a uh, burst fire mm -hmm. Something that's got a good spread so I don't have to aim really, really well, and I'm still healing guys up. Yeah, and what you also guys see really quickly is you, you notice that uh, Kindle is actually switching to different payloads as he, uh, after he dies, you're allowed to actually go and switch out your weapons. So you're not always stuck with one weapon. If, you, uh, if you're a healer, if you're playing that class for your uh, team, you're not stuck to just that weapon. You can actually move on. Now he's doing a little taunt. I mean, not only that, but it, <laughs> it, 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 I guess it bears pointing out that when we say if you're a healer, you're really defining your your class by what weapons you carry. So there's exactly. no there's no like us telling you what that class means. So if you if you're going to be healer class, we're not going to say, oh well, then your off weapons got to be you know gimped in some way. You make two weapons. That's your loadout, and you can make any two weapons you want with the pieces you got. You can also have multiple loadouts, so every time you die, you can switch loadouts. So if the healer wasn't working, or if there's no healer on your team and you need to switch to it, or if there's a sniper on the other team and it's time to get up close and dirty, you can switch to another loadout that you've defined. Uh, so the game gives you a lot, a lot of flexibility in terms of how you're going to play and uh, what you can do and experiment with with the weapon system. Uh, Kendall's team, by the way, is getting wiped up. I, I just want to point that out. <laughs> I can see from the bottom the score is 3,500. I'm sure Kendall's got a fine KD, um, but maybe he's focusing a little too much on ego battles and not enough on the on the team objective. Yeah, Kendall, what's your deal, man? I'm showing off weapons. So you're just showing off weapons. So that's the reason your team's losing 3,000 to five. Yep. All right. What uh what are you carrying on you by the way now? Okay, I have so a you've got a launcher and a Ghostbuster. Nice. All right, get up there in that point. Freaking clear house. Good. Take it away. All right, like I said before, this this um, this this uh, sorry um, game type it involves capturing this point that Kendall just burned up near. Um, whoever has got live.